All right, guys, before the Sunday shave, I am walking over to the local deli to get a New York bagel sandwich. Beautiful time of year when it starts to get cooler, but it's still warm enough that you don't need to wear a jacket. Very, very nice. All right, I'm gonna get my mask in place and go get my bagel. What's up, brah? I got it. Egg and cheese on an onion bagel. I'm not sharing it with your purse. I'm not gonna share this bagel with purse, boy. Look. Breakfast. See that? All right, let's go, bro. All right, we have breakfast. But because you can't have onions, it's not good for onions and not good for dogs. You can't have onions. So I'm going to have to give you a cookie instead. And maybe a little piece of sausage. Maybe just a little piece of sausage. But let's, let's show the viewers a proper New York breakfast. All right. Comes in up. Paper bag. Striped purse. Come on, bruh. Look at that. Look if you can see it. You see the juices. All right. No, purse. You can't have it. You can't have an onion. I forgot. I should have got a plain bagel. But let's let's show this to the camera first. I'm torturing this dog, guys. Oh, but look at this, guys. Now that is a proper New York breakfast. Onion bagel. Egg and cheese and sausage. I wish you guys could be here to join us. Now, I will give purse. The first bite of the sausage. Here you go, bro. Oh, yeah. Is that good? It's a proper New York breakfast, bro. All right. That's it. That's it. You can't have onions. But look at this, guys. Melted cheese. Sausage. Nice onion bagel. Mm. We love it. Right, Perth? A beautiful, crisp Sunday morning, and we got a dog treat here. All right, one more piece, Perth. But that's it. You can't have any more because... You just can't have it. He's a handsome dog, isn't he? He's got the same gray beard that I have. Look at that. Same beard. Wow, uh, guys, that really hit the spot. And now it's time to go do a nice neck cleanup and shave. All right, guys, so Percy and I have both gotten our fill, so now it's time for the shave. I want to send a shout out and thank you again to Jimmy G for his guest shave yesterday and for also sending me this beautiful... Gillette 195 Adjustable, AKA the Fat Boy. So we'll be using that for today's shave. I'm also using a soap that Jimmy sent me a while back. And I hear this is a difficult soap to lather, but produces great lather. But we're gonna be trying that today, right now. Using my favorite brush, the Retro 3D from FM Brush Synthetic Badger Hair my Shave Nation Indestructible from my boy Mike Vance. Has these little 
nubs to help aerate the lather. And it's a toss up between these two blades, both approved by Jimmy G. The Wilkinson sword, he actually sent me, so I'll be using that. If it's Jimmy approved, it can't be too bad. So let's open this guy up, twist to open. We'll insert this blade. Twist to close. Oh, before I do, let me find out where we're set. We're set at a relatively low setting. I'm gonna probably dial this up a little bit in aggressiveness and go to a five. All right, right in the middle there. And now let's get to lathering. Nice puck style soap with the mug logo on it. So this is gonna be a little bit of experimentation for me today. A little play time. I'm gonna let the mug soap kind of sit in that warm water. I have some water here to add water for the mix. And I'm gonna take this brush. Now the beauty of a synthetic brush is you don't need to wet soak it beforehand. It's ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that soap. Right? Pull it out here. A few swirls. And I'm going to set that aside. Right off the bat. Very nice. Now you want to work this for a little bit. You want the consistency of this to be like a thick Greek yogurt. And that's coming along pretty nicely. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water. To the mix. And that's coming along very nice, guys. Oh, nice. Starting to thicken up. And you're getting those peaks for the lather snobs. But you know what, guys? I like Jimmy's approach. I'll tell you. I don't like a real thick lather. It looks great on camera, but it can compete and, and it can clog up your blade. So split the difference, guys. You want good protection. And you don't want something that's like transparent that goes away, you know, that dries out on you. But that's looking pretty good. All right. Again, thanks, Jimmy G, for the Williams soap. Let's get cracking, let's get shaving. Just put the camera up, and it's gonna be a low key event today. Oh, let's get rid of, let's get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. All right, so guys, the beard's coming in nicely, and basically today I just wanna do a clean up. I wanna keep the beard long, so longer than the jawline, and the, the uh, rule of thumb, it's actually the rule of two fingers. Two fingers up from your Adam's apple is what, I'm, what I've been told by my boy Egyptian dude and others. And I'll try to keep that 
going around. All right. So I'm just going to put some hot, near hot water on this area here and get the pores ready, the face ready. I'm not going to do too much today as far as prep. It's Sunday. I don't have anything to do. It's just going to be an easy shave, guys. So let's get some near hot water cooking. Not hot. You don't want to burn your skin, but you do need the heat. Oh, yeah. You need the heat to open up the pores and get your skin ready for the shave. I tell you what, guys, I'm enjoying the guest shaves, and I really appreciate all my boys who have stepped up to do a guest shave. If you're interested in doing a guest shave, you know, let me know, bruh. Now, I can't promise that everyone's guest shave is going to make it because there are some standards, but... If you do submit a guest shave, I will uh, consider it. And if there's a way we can improve the filming, if there's a problem, then we'll do that too. And I appreciate everybody's enthusiasm. I love YouTube. I love this community. It's been really cool. Did I bring the razor? Love this community. It's been really, really cool. All right, so here's our foam. And we'll apply the foam, guys. Smells nice without being offensive. Now, what did Jimmy say? He likes to paint the fence. Now, you uh, lather snobs are going to say I failed this test. Because this is not as thick as you'd want it to be. And I really do have to work at that part of the game, but it's all in fun and it gets the job done. Let's, let's go for the first pass, guys. I loved Jimmy's comments about uh, beard mapping. Which way does your the hair on your beard grow? Now I always do my first pass with the grain of the hair on your neck and you know, the hair on my neck grows in all different directions. And I was really noticing it yesterday after he was talking about beard mapping. Now, I've always said my hair grows upward. But, you know, most of the hair on my, my neck is actually growing on an angle. Like Jimmy said. But, you know, I'm going to go with my technique for now. But I'm going to get into this beard mapping. But let's go. With the grain... Primarily, the hair grows this way on my neck. I'm going to shave up. And I'm going to be mindful of not going too far into that cut line. Because I can always address it later. And that feels good. The Gillette Fat Boy. Beautiful razor. And it made great and easy work on that first pass. Very nice. Ready for pass number two? We'll go back into our our bowl and we'll reapply for pass number two. Oh, that's nice guys. Nice smell to it. Really light and I like a, a soap or a cream that has a light fresh smell. I'm not big on Huge fragrance because let's face it, there's lots of things that we're putting on between the beard oil, the aftershave. So sometimes that can get a little competitive, right? Competes, competing smells. All right, second pass for me is my across grain pass. So I'm going to take this razor and I'm going to go across the grain. 
Another thing I really like about Jimmy and other real pro wet shavers, they do that angle shave. I haven't gotten into that, but I need to try it. And that's another reason I'm loving the guest shaves because you get and see other techniques that may work for you. And it's all about learning, guys. It's all about learning and sharing. I take my time on this cut because it's a dangerous cut for me. It's the cut I've often gotten in trouble with. Nice, very nice. Now we get ready for the third and final pass. For me, it is the against grain pass. So we'll load up with our Williams. Feels good, guys. Now this would be the time for me to dial back. Since I do have an adjustable razor, I can dial back on the aggressiveness. I can go from a five down to a two. And I'm gonna use Jimmy's technique. He likes to take the remaining bit of cream, see that? And he likes to take that and apply it by hand to get it a, a thicker, lather going for your third and final pass a, a thicker buffer between your face and that blade or he called it cushion all right so i'm going to open up the head and i'm going to dial this down from a five all the way down to a two close the head up And I'm now gonna be shaving against the grain. So traditional handle grip for me, shaving straight down, 30 degree angle on that blade, approaching the skin, taking my time, minding the, the Adam's apple here. And I'll show you the Adam's apple trick. For those of you who have a pronounced Adam's apple like I do, a good technique as opposed to pushing the skin and shaving and pushing and shaving, you can swallow hard and hold it. Flattens that area. So you can just do your traditional stroke. So here I'm gonna swallow hard and hold it. Takes the Adam's apple out of play, guys. One thing I don't do, I don't have the need to, and I don't desire that ultra, ultra baby's bottom shave like some guys do. Jimmy said he's chasing the BBS. I don't do a lot of BBS chasing. I don't go for that extra buff pass unless I really need it for some reason. Like if I'm going out to a, a, a big time event, um, I just don't do a lot of buff, buffing or BBS chasing per se. But this would be the time to get right. You know, if you do feel some hairs here or there, this would be the time to address those. And also is the time for me to just address this line here that I've created. That's nice. All right. So now I'm gonna rinse with cold water and that's gonna close the pores. It's gonna be refreshing. It's also gonna get my face ready to receive whatever aftershave I'm going with today.
now that I'm clean, I see a couple of areas that I might want to clean up. But again, I'm not searching. I'm not searching out or chasing the BBS like my boy Jimmy G. So there we have it, guys. Nice shave. I've fallen in love with this. I'm not going to lie. The uh, Harry's Post Shave Mist. So that's what I'm going to use today. Just a little mist here. Smells good, guys. Has botanicals. You see I have a little bit of a weeper there. I can address it with my boy Stan's Nick Stick from Pacific Shaving Company. I don't nick myself all that much. Again, I don't chase the BBS all that much. So it's somewhat rare when I nick myself, but I did today a couple of times. So we'll apply this. Should have done this before. So I'm gonna shake, uh, shake that up and just roll that over that area. A little burn. But it stops that, uh, it stops that, that blood flow. So now let's attend to the beard, guys. I'll show you a product I've been using. It's a once a week product from Cremo. It's their beard and scruff softener. And it has a 30 second run time. So what I mean by that is lots of these beard and scruff softeners you have to apply. You have to wait a while, a minute or so to two minutes. This goes on 30 seconds, it does what it needs to do. Now, I do this in the shower once a week. I'll leave it on for as long as I'm shampooing my hair or, you know, just washing other bits. So, but it's a very nice, very nice. This is the reserve blend. So it has that bourbon, that oak and bourbon smell to it. So I'll do that now. I'll take a little bit out. I'll apply it to my whiskers, to wet whiskers, and I'll let it sit for about 30 seconds. And this is the number one best product to get into your arsenal if you're starting your beard. A little streak like that. Ah, smoky bourbon. And I'll apply that. Rub that right in. Links to all the products I've been using in this video will be found below. You can order them on Amazon. They'll ship right to you. You'll be doing something for you and something for me. And that is a win-win, brah. And we like to win. There we go. For the everyday beard and face wash from Crimo, it's beautiful. I use this in the shower. Every time I shower, this is what I'm washing my face with. If I go have barbecue, some gritty food, or just have, have been sweating, running around, beard and face wash. I find washing the beard, keeping it clean, is just essential. And in these times, a couple more great products from Cremo, Beard and Scruff Bomb. So this is the bomb. It's the bomb, guys. This helps to moisturize the whiskers, and it has kind of a dual purpose. So when your beard is short, this will moisturize it, help with the itch. And when the beard gets longer, it also continues to help moisturize, but it helps to form or shape the beard for sculpting and shaping and just keeping it looking pretty. Beard Balm is another product I'll start using now that the beard is getting longer. Again, moisturizes, replenishes, and helps form and style that beard. Another go-to everyday type product, guys, is Cremo's Beard Oil. Essential, again, coats the beard. It's more of a, a beard and scruff softener type that you can use every day, multiple times a day. Goes on oily, but then doesn't stay oily. So you're not fighting the oil all day. Really coats the whiskers, kind of sets into those whiskers and keeps them nice and soft and supple. All right, so let's wash this out. Again, it works 
in 30 seconds, but you can leave it in longer if you'd like. So there you have it guys, a quick cleanup shave with my man Jimmy G's Gillette Fat Boy, followed up by the Beard Care from Cremo, and you'll be looking dynamite. You'll be looking dynamite, guys. Again, I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching. I hope you get out and have a great Sunday, and I'll see you again next time. Get those submissions in. Reach out to me if you wanna do a guest shave, and I'll see you clowns next time. And now I'm gonna go, maybe I'll go get another bagel. This time I'll get a plain one so Percy can have it. I'll see you next time, guys. Keep pushing play.